The bloodshed in Baltimore is out of control, and in just the past few hours, more violence. The city could end the year with the highest number of murders ever. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at city police headquarters with just released video of a teenager's final moments alive. Mike? Jessica, this teenager gets shot in the head, and the gunman simply walks away like nothing has happened. Baltimore has already seen the highest number of murders per capita in the city's history, just 10 away from an all-time record. As Baltimore surges past 340 murders, chilling new surveillance video shows a killer in the act. On Greenmount Avenue, suspects walk about at the scene, then confront the victim, 18-year-old Rikey Shaw, shooting him in the head. One suspect runs off, the other shows off the weapon, brazenly pointing it before getting back in a blue Acura TL and leaving the scene. The teenager's death remains unsolved. Come out and see that kid lying in the street dead, you know what I mean? It's a hurting feeling. You know, it just hurt me to my heart to see how black teenagers killing each other out here. The man who died here Monday was just 22 years old. Dominique Harris was his name, and he was shot over and over again in the street. His death was just blocks from where Freddie Gray was arrested in April, the case that sparked riots. Police denied a slowdown and initially blamed the increase in murders on people stealing prescription drugs from pharmacies during the unrest, and later started a war room to focus on the worst violent offenders. Get our hands around some of this violence. Last week, the commissioner spoke about illegal guns flooding into the city from out of state. Police are still working to understand what else is driving the bloodshed. What was the reason that these bad guys felt that they could go out and commit the crimes at the pace and the rate that they're doing it this year? And let the bad guys know that they're not going to be allowed to operate in anonymity in Baltimore any longer. Councilman Brandon Scott, who has marched in outrage over the violence, is still upset, noting that 23 children have died this year. He says Baltimore must do better. This year is an embarrassment for anyone that says they love the city of Baltimore. No 7-year-old, no 16-year-old, no 14-year-old should lose their life to violence. And when that happens, that should be a big deal for all of us. And to further put this into perspective, Baltimore has had more murders than in New York City, which has more than 13 times the population. Live at Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Now, the highest number of killings ever was 353, and that was back in 1999, but Baltimore had a significantly higher population at the time.